guys, Connor here with Crub Designs, and thank you for watching this video. Now, I have also received a few requests on how to basically transfer some objects from Cinema 4D to Photoshop. And I think a main key element of this is, is using some text and um, just basically putting that in Photoshop. Uh, you can do 3D text in um, Adobe Photoshop, but it's it's not as it's not as great as what you can produce in Cinema 4D. So it's just a quick example that I just quickly ran through, uh, sort of 3D, facing different ways, and it's just in Photoshop for you to edit. So let's get started in Cinema 4D, File New, and first of all you want to make a plane, so click and hold on the square, go to Plane, go to Object, and make sure you make it really, really large, it doesn't have to be that large I suppose. Just typed in a few nines, go to the rotate tool, click the red one, and if you hold shift, it will snap to every five degrees, and you want it for 90 degrees, so it's basically upright, so it's like a wall in some respects. So this is going to be the backdrop of that you lay the text on. So now if you go to MoGraph and text object, it'll just import some 3D text for you. Go to the move tool, drag it up, and use the blue arrow to drag it forward so it's in front of this, the plane. So just drag it forward here, just going to line it up. Uh, so on the text object, you type in the text. I'll type in Chrome. Uh, font, I'll use Bebas. Just drag it over a bit. There we go. Um, could I do depth? I'll maybe increase the depth a bit. Drag it just a bit further out. And there we go, we've got some basic 3D text. Now what we're going to do is, while, while all the all the text and the plane is all together in one, you want to make some material. So I'm just going to go down to File Shader, and I'm going to go to New Key. No, I'm not, because I um, stupidly pressed the wrong one. New Key, drag it on. Yeah, it's like a blue field, if I want to change it, double click it. I might change it to green. Lime green, there we go. But that looks pretty bad, so I'm gonna go back to the blue and I'm gonna stick to it like that. Now, what we need to do is if you um, click on the text object and go up to this tool here, which basically makes it editable. Now, this is how you can rotate single characters of the text. So, for example, if you have it checked and maybe just uncheck it and rotate again. You can just start to rotate the text now. It's not exactly what I um, what I thought to have happened. Not sure what I did in the um, example then, but one sec. Let me try and fiddle about with this. There we go. Click on the characters, rotate, and you can rotate them individually. Make sure you tick that button there. Just so a little mishap there. You can start to rotate the text just to give it a bit of just give it a kind of contrast. Tick on the next one. Just gonna rotate them different ways, whether you whether you like it, whatever floats your boat. Put it behind there. Maybe just move that a bit closer so it's a bit more clustered. Go finally we got the E. Just gonna Rotate that out just a little bit, bring it back in, and there we go. We've got some sort of disjointed text. Looks quite cool there with the sort of like reflections. But if you go onto the text, and if you go to, I'll tell you what, we'll make a new material. Double click on the spare space, choose what color you want. I'll choose a blue, and I'm going to make it have no reflection, so just drag it on there. Give it a quick preview. In fact, no, I won't. I'm going to stick to the original. So I've had a bit of main change in that mind changing this, but there we go. So we got the text there. Now I'll just make a new material by double clicking. This is going to be what you're going to add to the backdrop. So make the color a pure white. Go to luminance, tick it just a bit. However, just lower it down so you don't get a lot of the reflections in the different gradient spots. 
So if we click render that out, you see that you've got some quite nice text there that you can maybe incorporate. Eight. Maybe add a light. Let's see how this goes. I'll go back just a bit. Now nah, the light's horrible. I'm not going to add a light. I think I'm just going to stick it to that. Now go to render, render settings, and general, full, full render output. I'm going to make it 1280 by 720. Uh, that's about it for now. Save. I'll make it JPEG. Options, make it 100%. Go to the background, call it tutorial. Okay, yep. Everything else is pretty much fine. Now go on this little button here and go to render to picture viewer. I'm going to start to render it out there. Depends on how complicated your image is, it may take longer. And um, that should be it. Just open it up there and you sh it should appear on your desktop there. So now go to Photoshop and just close these two here. No, I don't want to save. Nope, I don't want to save. Go to File New, depending on what canvas you want to import it on. So you want to be a desktop background, 12 8 by 720 it could be a YouTube template. And then go to File and then open it. Now you see that you've got some nice 3D text. But now to get it into what could be your other other uh, tab, which could have a YouTube template or, or some previous stuff, just go to the little magic wand tool. Uh, depending on the tolerance, you can maybe use trial and error. And you just want to click in the white space and it should try and delete it for you. But you see there, some of the top of the R has gone, where it, it thinks that's a part of the background. So you maybe just want to lower it a bit. Apart from that, it seems fine. A few gaps, but they're pretty simple. So maybe just lower it to 15. Click again, there's still a bit high, 13. That's 03, not 13. Uh, that'll do, that'll do. So now go to Edit and Copy. No, you don't. You want to go to Edit and Cut, sorry. Or you can just delete it. There and delete. And you see that it'll bring... Basically delete that so you've got the transparent background. If you deleted it and you still got a white background, that's because your product settings still have a white background. It should not matter at all. But I'm just going to fill out, fill, get these last little bits here, like inside the R. Delete. Inside the O, delete, and just there, delete. Now there we go. So now you can just um, go to that layer, go to this little marquee tool, and just start to tick off first, and just drag around the text, and just go to edit, copy. And on this canvas, I'm just going to fill it in so you've got a colour, so you can see, edit, paste, and there you go. You've got some 3D text in Photoshop that you can manipulate to your own way. Maybe go into blending options if for whatever reason you want a stroke or something. You can add a bit of a uh, color overlay and then lower it down. Don't mind. There we go. Close that sec. And that's about it. Thanks for watching this video. Um, I might have dragged it out a bit, but I'm uh, sorry about that. You get the gist of it. Uh, thanks for watching this video guys, please remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon, bye.